Uh, when exactly was Godot 4.0 released? Did that even happen in 2023? <laughs> Man, I forgot. In this video, we're gonna take a look at what happened around Godot in 2023. Honestly, it was a great year, but what made it so great? And when did Godot 4.0 release again? January. Godot 4 Beta 11 released on the 10th January, and the main thing it did was making GD script more stable and fast. Only one day after that, the Godot 4.0 documentation sprint began. If you don't know, the documentation looked pretty rough for 4.0 before the sprint. This doc sprint lasted until January the 31st. And I'm sure the Godot docs would not be nearly as helpful and complete nowadays without it. So thanks to everyone who contributed. Wait, what is that? A new 3.5.2 release candidate 2 approaches the scene. It is angry because it's gonna be replaced with the 4.0 release soon. Nah, it's actually here in peace. And it brings some nice stuff, like fixed code completion and rendering issues. Over the next few days, Godot 4 Beta 12 to 16 are released. These introduce .NET 7 support and general c -sharp improvements. And, oh yeah, the skeleton modification stack 3D was removed. Skeleton modification what? It was a collection of tools to modify the bones of your 3D skeleton. For example, copying a bone's position to another or IK constraints. Think of this as Blender's bone constraints if you have ever worked with those. Why was it scrapped? From what I could find, its UX was bad and it didn't fit with the engine very well. Also, it was unstable as hell apparently. February. February starts off strong with 4.0 beta 17 on the 1st. There are a bunch of fixes to typed arrays and rendering. Then only 6 days later, the first version of Godot for Android was released to the Google Play Store. This improved navigation in the 3D viewport for touchscreens with new shortcuts like double tap and drag to zoom and navigation gizmos. And it brought Godot to phones and tablets. Wait, what is this? Godot 4 is in release candidate already? Yep, it is. On the 8th of February, the Godot team dropped the first release candidate of 4.0. It came with the usual bunch of GG script improvements, as well as a ton of editor fixes and some rendering improvements like decal kill masks. What followed was a bunch of release candidates, fixing a whole bunch of regressions and bringing us closer to the 4.0 stable release. On the 6th February, there was something special. I created my YouTube channel. I know, I know, that has not much to do with Godot. But I just wanted to take this opportunity to thank you boys and girls for your support. It really means a lot to me. And we're on to March. After three plus years of breaking and rebuilding from the ground up, a complete core overhaul and a full engine rewrite, yep, 4.0 is out. With Godot 4, they finally succeeded at their goal of laying a solid ground for the next few years and updates. Even though Godot 4.0 was a bit rough around the edges, it still has a lot of potential. I would like to thank today's sponsor. Zenva. If you're thrilled about game development with Godot 4, definitely check out Zenva Academy. They offer easy to follow courses that are ideal for both beginners and intermediate level developers who are looking to learn in a structured way. What's awesome about Zenva is how they make learning fun and practical. You get professional video tutorials, written lessons as well as interactive quizzes. Plus, you'll work on real projects and building real games in different genres like open world, RPGs and FPSs. Zenva doesn't just offer Godot courses though. They also have courses on Python, Unity, Unreal and other stuff. All of that comes in one subscription, including a 7 day free trial. You unlock over 250 courses and 32 learning pathways. The best thing is that I've got a special deal for you. Use the link in the description or pinned comment to get an extra 20% off the first year of your annual Zenva subscription, on top of any existing site discounts. That's a significant saving for a world of game development knowledge. This special offer is only valid for the first 50 subscribers. So if you're ready to deep dive into Godot 4 or explore other game development areas, Zenva is the place to be. Thanks again Zenva for sponsoring the video and now let's get back to it. If you thought that the release of Godot 4 was the highlight of 2023, you're at least partially wrong. Because on March the 7th they announced that the Godot team will be attending GDC this year. Well, technically they announced that they will be going to GDC last year. A little bit more on Godot and GDC later. Whoa there, a 3.5.x release? Didn't new Godot 3 still existed? Apparently it does. To quote themselves, it's nothing fancy but a welcome upgrade from 3.5.1. So let's go over the changes real quick. Some navigation improvements, better HTML5 export, and oh yeah, sorting for transparent objects. 
Even though 4.0 was just released, we are now two weeks into the future and they rolled out the first release candidate for 4.0.1. 4.0.1 release candidate 2 followed shortly after on the 17th and added finishing touches to the first patch release of Godot 4. On the same day, the thing you only open for Fortnite and your weekly free games, wait, how was it called again? Oh right, the Epic Game Store got a visit from Godot and Godot liked the store so much that it stayed there. So yes, Godot is now on the Epic Game Store and you can can download it from there. You're probably thinking, wait, isn't Epic the developer of Unreal Engine? You're right. This may sound a bit weird at first glance, but Epic allowed third-party developers to self-publish on the store and Godot took its chance. Also, Godot and Epic are kind of bros, because Epic gave Godot a mega grant of $250,000 to improve their renderer and GD script in Godot 4. March the 20th marked the release date of Godot 4.0.1, and 11 days later the release date of the first release candidate for 4.0.2. April. Oh, we're in April now. April starts with 4.0.2 being released. 4.0.2 brings a lot of fixes and improvements to the engine. Remember how I said that there will be more on GDC in this video? From what they have published in their GDC recap article, people were very open to Godot. Juan and other people from the Godot core team gave a talk and there even was a party sponsored by GitHub. At the 13th, Godot 3.6 went into beta 1 with over 500 fixes and enhancements. A lot of stuff was backported from Godot 4, so if you're still using Godot 3, 3.6 could be a better option than switching and porting to 4. Remember the DirectX renderer for Godot on the 14th? Random Shaper published an article talking about the progress with it. They switched to a different type of DirectX integration midway through development. The pull request is now merged in Godot 4.2. Clayjohn published an article outlining how they will change their release schedule. Beginning with 4.2, they will have a feature merging phase where they will add new features to the engine. After that, they will focus on polish. This eliminates crunch on the contributor's side, which is always a nice thing. May. May started with the first development version of Godot 4.1 being published. After a few release candidates on the 25th, 4.0.3 was released as a maintenance release. And it did exactly that. It fixed a bunch of issues with 4.0. June. June starts out strong for Godot with the release of 4.1-4 on the 1st, shortly followed by the first beta of 4.1 on the 8th. On the 15th of June, Godot announced that they are going to have a booth at the Big Festival. The Big Festival is an event for indie game devs in Brazil. Ariel gave a talk about the current state of Godot and its future plans. Godot does a big poll where they gather data about their users every year. This year, this was done on the 23rd June. The community poll is now over with over 7000 people taking part. Another big milestone on the 27th June, Godot 4.0 reaches release candidate 1, July. Godot 4.0 releases on the 6th. Some of the most notable changes include a floating script editor, node multithreading, static variables, exported typed arrays and better navigation. Just a few days later, on the 17th, the first 4.1 maintenance release is released. Godot has been to a few events already. But what's the next thing you can do from that? Right, make your own event. And so GodotCon 2023 was announced. GodotCon is a two-day event hosted by the Godot Foundation, where important community members give talks. On the 19th, the first development version of 4.2 was released. This also marks the first time they are going to use their new development cycle plan. August. August starts with a maintenance release for Godot 4 in form of 4.0.4, Godot not found. On the 17th, the Godot team announced that they will be attending Gamescom this year. Their booth was hosted by Rematech and W4 Games. You could talk to them and get some free swag at their booth. I too was at Gamescom and even though I didn't have access to the business area, I got one of those Godot pins. September. Godot 3.5.3 finally got a release candidate on the 8th. So far, Godot was receiving its donations mostly via Patreon, but on the 12th September, they announced that they now have their own development fund. They say that they made this decision because they did not want to pay that much fees to Patreon. Godot 3 got a small update in form of Godot 3.5.3 on the 25th September. This introduces some audio fixes, a lot of editor and core improvements and more. October, another month starting with the release. 
release. 4.1 got its second maintenance release with 4.1.2 on the 4th. Nothing big, but a few bug fixes and usability improvements. On the 12th, 4.2 went into beta. November. And then it was released on the 30th of November. But wait, there was something before the release. On the 20th, Godot announced that submissions for their 2023 showreel are open. The Godot showreel aims to show people games and apps which are made with Godot and that Godot is well capable of making games. December. There is a new Godot forum. It replaces the old question to answer forum, mainly because the old one had security issues and infrequent updates. Old links will be forwarded to the new forum and all the posts will stay around. Godot has a mobile renderer, but it lacks some features. That's why Godot collaborated with Google and the Forge in order to improve it. The Forge is a developer focusing on making game engines and renderers. This will make Godot's renderer much faster on mobile, which is always a good thing, because the less work the hardware has to do, the longer the battery life. On the 18th, Godot announces that they have hired Natalie Gala as a communication manager. They did this because they were criticized for their lack of communication. Natalie isn't around for long enough in order to say if the hire was a good thing, but I hope it increases the communication of the developers with the community. The Godot year 2023 ends with the development version of Godot 4.3. See my video on what's new in Godot 4.3 for more info on that. Thanks again Zenva for sponsoring the video and thanks for watching.